okay hello and welcome to another section in further mathematics in this section we'll be looking at the topic um equality of vectors but before we proceed um with what we have right in front of us i would like us to uh, do, take a quick review on a previous lesson okay welcome back now when we talk about two vectors being equal it means that the constant term must be equal for example if i have vector p as being equals to i minus 4j and q to being equal to um let me say um um a i minus 4 j now for this vector to be equal to this that is to say these values attached to each component must be equal so if this for this vector to be equal to this then the value of our a must be equal to 2. now if you are given another vector let's say um example two um two ki plus three j let's call this vector p and we call another vector vector q to be in eight i plus three over four k j now if we have these two vectors for these vectors to be equal one of the things we need to take into consideration is we equate the height term from the height component and that of the j component so for these two vectors to be equal let's look for the value of k now we now have two in the first section two k i should be equal to eight i so i goes with i we now have two k to be equal to eight so after that we now have the value of i k to be 8 over 2 which is equal to 4 so this value of k is supposed to be equals 4 now let's also do same here we have if we have 3 j to be equal to 3 over 4 k j no now the value of j disappears we now have 3 to be equals 3 over 4 k now if we cross multiply you now have um the value of 3 k to be equal to 12 so the value of our k is 12 over 3 which is equal to 4 so in the two um, vectors you can bear with me that the value of k here in these two vector is equal to so our k is equal to 4 now if you substitute k as 4 here substitute k as 4 here then it will now make these two vectors to be equal now let's move further into angles between um, vectors we have angles between two vectors now when you talk about angle between two vectors there's a, a stated formula that is the cos of the angle is equal to the dot product of the vectors all over the dot product of the absolute value of each vector now when you talk of this uh, we in our previous lesson we did some we did justice to um on the steps requires to calculating the dot product of each vector now today i would like us to lay more emphasis in getting the absolute value of a vector and it will enable us achieve our aim when it comes to calculation of the angles between vectors for example if we say um if a question is being given to you to find the angle between the vectors now two vectors are being given to you let's say um vector p being equals uh, let's say 2i minus 2j plus k and that of q being equals um 12i that's the height component plus 4j minus 3k 4j minus 3k 
Now, when you have these two vectors right in front of you, and you want to look for the um, angle between them, now look at the formula. I stated the formula here clearly. Now, the first thing we need to do is to look for the dot product of the vectors. So, dot product at this dot this, which is equals, you do the dot product, um, apply the same rules we applied in our, in our first class dot 12i plus 4j minus 3k now remember when you're talking about dot product you only multiply the constant term so 2 times 12 here is 24 you have 24 minus 8 that's 2 times 4 um, and minus 3 so which is equal to 24 minus 8 minus 3 is 24 minus 11 which is 13 now the value of our dot product is this then when you talk of the absolute value of p the absolute value of p is the square of the square root of each of the components now this are p value the absolute value of p becomes the square root of 2 all squared plus minus minus square root of 2 all squared plus 1 all squared I did not give us equal to um, 4 plus 4 plus 1 that's square root of 9 which is equal to 3 the absolute value of this is 3 okay there's a square root here now you do same for the absolute value of Q you now have um, apply this is it should be 12 square root of 12 all squared plus square root of 4 square root of 4 all squared plus minus 3 square root all squared and which is equal to square root of 169 and is equal to 13 so the absolute value for q is 13 that of p is 3 now having this let's go back to our original equation of um, calculating the angle between vector we have cos theta being equal to um, as a value of p becomes um, 13 okay all over pq is 13 all over 3 times 13 so 13 goes with 13 we now have 1 over 3 which is equal to 0 0.3333 now theta which is the angle we sought for will now be the cos inverse of 0 0.3333 and if you do the cos inverse of 0 0.333 you have 72.54 degrees so the angle between these two vectors is 72.54 um, degrees now what if you're being asked to look for the directional cosine of a vector now when you talk about um, the directional cosine cosine of a vector it is as straight as anything so let's say you have the vector 4i plus 3j minus 11k this is question one to find the directional um, question we now say let a be equal to um, the expression so that of our a absolute value just look for the absolute value so which is equal to 4 square root square plus 3 square root square plus minus 11 square root and squared this is equal to the square root of 140 six now having this directional cosine directional cosine of a vector becomes cos hyphen like we are taking one of it which is equal to four over now what is um, the absolute value square root of one four six that's all for this you do or the next one cos beta which is 3 you know the 3 over square root of 146 and cos gamma is equal to minus 11 
over square root of one four six now these are the directional cosine of each of these vectors so i would like to say a very big thank you for joining us in this lesson but to refresh your memory on what we just discussed please take the test that will appear on your screen shortly do well to use this lesson note on the on the platform for better information on the topic we've discussed thank you